Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you are okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you Scorpio. This is for the week of September 21st to 27. And this is for the beautiful Scorpio friends out there, okay? Before I start, guys, I would like to thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Thank you, thank you so much for the love, for the support. Shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for everything that you do in my channel. Thank you. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And um, if you would like to further support my channel, myself, my team, my journey, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Follow me there, please. Check out our online store. The manifestation bracelet is still available. It comes with a free shipping worldwide, a free uh, reading from me. And um, for this month of September, you're going to get a free aura cleanse soap. You can use this in new moon and full moon. And once we ship out the item, we will give you a digital um, instruction on how to activate the items and an exclusive access to our meditation music, okay? We're running out of the manifestation bracelet, so we will be stocking more different products. So watch the online store transform, okay? Let's start the reading for you, Scorpio. I'm not sure whether you can see it in the camera. Okay, in the reading for today, we will look at the past energy, the current energy, immediate future advice and predictive outcome. And depending on the message that, are, that I will pick up today, I will let you know if I will be extending the reading, okay? So let's go, Scorpio. Let's look at the past situation for you. You've got here, Scorpio, first card in the past position, past energy is the Page of Swords in reverse. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse. And then... You've got here the Five of Swords in reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, so the past energy seems to be you were you weren't aware of something deceitful, something. I think there was red flag, but you're kind of ignoring that. And then this red flag, this issue, this problem, it has escalated because the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, you lost your interest, you lost your love, you lost your passion towards your situation, towards your person, towards a love situation because of their inconsistency, their deceitful energy, their lies, their betrayal, something. For some of you, they're very inconsiderate. For some of you, I'm hearing that word. Five of Swords, this is... um. They're doing something behind your back. You felt like, you know, there's already a red flag. You, you've seen red flag that this person seems to be non-committal. They're not emotionally available for you. But you keep on going. You keep on going. And then you reach a point of, boom, uh, I'm a Scorpio. I'm very intuitive. I'll find out. So you find out. You discover. You have confirmed something that this person is a five of swords energy, queen of wands. And, you know, so there was definitely at the later part of your, you know, um, like you gave up. You, you, you saw the red flag. You saw it collapse. And you have no choice but to give up or to, to back out. Like I'm backing out because this is obvious. You know, it's not perfect. You know, page of swords, queen of wands. You are not perfect. I'm not perfect. But we could, you know, make, you know, we could find compromise, make it work together. But at some point during, you know, the the before and after kind of energy, you were forced, Scorpio, to back out, give up because it's too much. The Five of Swords energy, it is too much. The lies, the betrayal, the inconsistency, the the mess the argument the fight between the two of you it it is escalating into a higher level so you kind of given up with that you kind of back out you are surrendering you know you don't want to be involved with this person or situation who is not giving you the drive the passion who is lying who is inconsistent who is not giving you that equal approach of love give and take 
um yeah you have to give up for some of you guys or take take a break because this is you know this is the energy look at the bird it, it the bird is next to the person and you know you close your eyes and you kind of ignore the red flag okay i'll give it a go okay i'll forgive okay i'll give it a chance okay i'll you know i'll stick around and see whether it's it's improving you give this person or your situation many chance one two three four five and then boom it's been five weeks five months five days and you're still in the same position you're still in the same energy and you've decided like this is enough okay it is sucking all of your energy you know it, it's like it's like going into a black hole there's no sense of direction that's what you feel towards your past person past energy you know i mean looking at it you you gave it a try you gave it the benefit of the doubt but again the five of swords strong okay their inconsistencies their betrayal the mess between the two of you the argument the irreconcilable energy it seems to be strong because if i add this together one two three it is an equivalent of a tower moment okay the foundation it's getting weaker and weaker the emotion it's getting weaker and weaker and um, as a result you collapse you disconnected you're not in speaking terms or you could still be in speaking terms or in connection but you have so much doubt with this person like the the energy i feel around the the past energy is that will it ever work like you feel hopeless because you keep seeing negative negative red flag and red flag you, you got into a point that you know, you got to a point that I don't have an energy to trust you. I mean, I want to trust you. I want to build something towards you. But I'm left of, of nothing to trust you because you've reached the maximum limit. Okay? So that's the past energy. Now, looking at, at, the, looking at the now energy, the current energy, um, Queen of Swords. Okay? Um, Queen, of, Queen of Swords in upright position. This is you. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're very watchful and you are a little bit vengeful as well in here, Scorpio, because I'm looking at the Queen of Swords. You're holding the sword so tight. So um, you're, because this is you, you're open to communicate, okay? From, from the past energy to the now energy, Scorpio, you've realized, Queen of Swords, you've used your logic that, this is a repetitive cycle this is a repetitive cycle you keep going back with the same i don't know argument situation with the same person um but they never back out you know it is a it is a feeling that yep this is inconsistent they disconnect and then they come back but they always come around you know this is what i get from the past energy connected to your current energy that's why there is a factor coming from your side scorpio that you know you're also weak um weak at weak in in this person's energy that yep we disconnect we but we reconnected you know so it's, it's something that went on and off like you can't deny it that after all of the red flags you disconnect you go on with your life but when this person comes back to you you you're still manifesting them you know you're still an open arms invisible force that i want to find out how you are so I want to find out if, you know, if you die or something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. But like, you know, you are vengeful and waiting. Okay. This is you, the Queen of Swords. You're using your head over your heart. You're watching out for the message. Okay. And if the message is not good, you will strike. You will strike with your sword. If it's good, if you felt like it's not a Five of Swords energy, then you are open to examine it. So, you are in an energy Scorpio where you're open, but you are also vengeful. So there's a two-faced energy in here. I'm not saying you're two-faced, but you're kind of ready. You know, when you receive a call or a text from this person, what will you do? Will you slash them, you know, with the, with the sword? Or will you keep the sword with you and oh, let them in to talk? Okay, so you're ready in both ways. You're ready when this person comes back or it's either they come back to you nicely or they come back to you and attack you. But you're ready. You're looking like you're ready for war. 
Queen of Swords. That's you. You're waiting. You are still open to find out how things with him after this. You're open to talk. You're you're waiting for this person. Part of you is still manifesting them. And your manifestation is smart. It is ready. But there's a little bit of sting in the Queen of Swords. So this person, they should watch out. Because you are like a warrior. Okay? You are ready. Um, your person's energy is they've got the Four of Cups in reverse. They are reconsidering to connect with you. The mutual energy between the two of you is the Eight of Wands. Um, I see your person thinking of you and wanting to call you or text you and um, reaching out. But they don't have that energy. It's all about thoughts, you know. Your person's, um, your person's action is driven by their emotions. And their emotions is reconsidering to call you and text you. But the energy is not enough to fuel the actual action of calling or texting you. You are, your energy is the queen of swords. You are, you have more structured, okay? When this person comes back or call you or text you or talk to you, you know what to do. You know how to deal with them. Your person appears to be, um, from five of swords to four of cups, they don't give a lot of energy on on a specific structure on how to call you or text you they do have the thought of calling you or texting you it's to call it's to text but they're not prepared what to say they're not putting a lot of energy on what will they say of you it seems to be um they're not this person is is not prioritizing you right now or your connection when they think of you they want to call they want to talk but the the concept of what they will say in the talking in the communicating in the conversation that is not yet um formalized that's not yet conceptualized okay but they do think of you um so that's the current energy in the immediate future predictive outcome and advice um the moon card is in reverse I think coming from the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords and the Moon card, it is becoming, um, you are becoming, I don't know, less and less interested with this person. You, because pretty much right now, you're ready. You're ready to talk. You're ready to ask the question. You're ready to listen. If they don't behave, you're ready to strike your sword. If they behave, you will get them, you know, You'll, you'll let them in. You will wel welcome them. You will listen to them. Um, from now, okay, up to the immediate future, the moon card, it's pretty clear that you could be waiting for them to figure out what to say because the current energy, they're still thinking of you, wanting to call, wanting to text, but it's not yet in the uh, metaphysical form of actually holding the phone, texting, and calling you. The concept of that is there, but the message itself and what to communicate, it's not yet, um, it's not yet conceptual, it's not yet um, strong. But moving to a more um, future, immediate future predictive outcome and advice, here's your person, uh, the King of Swords, because this is you. Okay, let me just move the camera. Okay, so this is you now, and this is your person now and then. So... Um, I honestly feel like there is going to be a transition of the energy. You're ready to talk. You're ready to listen. And you're also ready for war if they don't behave well. Your person's maturity, your person's reaction from then and now and in the immediate future, it is kind of slow. You're more advanced to this person, Scorpio. But they will indeed reach the counterpart. Okay? Queen of Swords, King of Swords. It's pretty clear that the more delay it is, the more your person get the understanding of what really happened between you and them, okay? So there is a clear understanding. There is an alignment, okay? I really see you and your person having some sort of alignment of logical and structure and process, okay? But if you see the bird, Scorpio, it's on top of your person, and one of that is already flying. So I see this person communicating, messaging you. No, actually, it's not a bird. What is this? 
it is a ooh there's a dragonfly there is an owl so look scorpio i'm looking at your person in the immediate future they are watching watching you online they are stalking you there's an owl in here this person this person has been watching you somewhere out there in the future i think this person the reason why i was pointed out the you know get ready because i was i was pointed out the the sword it's because the initial communication of this person is to intimidate you you know the longer you guys do not talk uh the more understanding they become the more they become a king of swords the king of swords operate in their logic so not in their emotions so the first blow of communication or follow-up or reply it is something intimidating it is something that will surprise you that they've come to this point okay but after this you know the the communication between you and this person in the immediate future it's kind of stingy it is brewing for a fight there is a little bit of heated argument in there this is a disguise this is them trying to intimidate a scorpio okay because you appear to be softy in the queen of swords and the king of swords but to be honest with you if you put your sword up and you intimidate them as well and tell them oi don't act like that it is your fault um, they will let down the proper bird. This is the actual message that they want to tell you. They will tell you how they've been, you know, how they were when you were gone, that they've been stalking you, that they've been thinking about you day and night. So the soft side of this person, they won't show it to you. They will not unmask that. They will intimidate you with a message, you know, because you're the queen of swords. So, yeah, I see you having um, a match in terms of logical. I see you communicating with this person. After that communication, it's going to be interesting because you have a future together. Okay? So, I see you and this person having a talk, having a conversation. Um, get ready with that because there seems to be an argument, a little bit of fight. And, you know, there is an on like a validation um they need to be validated you need to be validated it is an explaining of to the logical side it is meeting both minds like to be honest with you sork it's like you are mind fucking each other like <laughs> you know you you both operate in the mind the logical side and this person is trying to intimidate you and you are at the same level okay queen of swords this is a match king and queen of sword and you're not using your emotions in here because if you use your emotions, you will have a softy for this person. So you're very protective and so this person. But I tell you, if they intimidate you and you intimidate, intimidate, intimidate them back, they, you know, the facade, the, the, they will unmask whatever it is that they've been through when you were gone on when, or when, when you were disconnected together. Okay. And Three of Wands. After this talk, after this conversation, after this battle of the brain, okay? The battle of the logic and brain between the two of you, you have a future. Because in this conversation, Scorpio, you will realize that they know their fault. They're accountable of their fault. They will listen to you, will listen to them. Because you're both um, you're both operating in the stimulus, in, in the brain. So you know how to make it work. And you know whether it's going to work or not. That's why the last card is the three of wands, which speaks about the future. You have a future together because you know the fault, you know the issue, you, need, you know the error. And if you know the issue, you know the error, you know how to make it work. Two brains can solve the problem. And so you have a future. Okay? Three of wands. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you soon again, guys. I will extend the reading and further ask your energy, their energy, and, um, you know, how they feel towards you in a more thorough um, reading. Thank you, Scorpio. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.